Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's BPCast back in with another video and another reaction. And in today's video is um, a title, Karen, that she thinks lying to the cops will work. So apparently got a, a, a Karen situation. So I'm going to watch it, get my reaction. Let me know what y'all think about the comment section. Let's get into the video. How you doing, ma'am? I'm Deputy Castro, Monroe County Sheriff's Office. There's a yes. why I pulled you over. Me and my partner right there on the side of the road. Yes, it's so you. Hey. Okay. In the state of Florida, we have a move over law. Okay? You either need to bump it down to 20 miles an hour, or you got to try to move over to the left-hand side. Well, I actually followed the vehicle in front of me because um, I literally thought, should I scoot over? No, nope, we're going straight. They're going to... I don't... I mean, the other vehicle did the same thing in front of me, so... Well, I was looking at my computer, but I felt my car shake when you passed me. Can I have your license, okay. registration, proof, or insurance, please? Um, you're going to have to contact um, the Federal Bureau for my information. I'm sorry. I'll give you, because that's what I'm here for, is work. And this is the vehicle they put me in, so you're going to have to contact them for that. For your registration and everything? Yep. You're going to have to contact them in Jackson County, in Jacksonville, Florida. You don't have no registration in this vehicle? No, nope, this is what they put me in. Uh, huh? No, I do not. I, I, um, it's registered in Karen Niver's name from 2018 on. That's who I got the vehicle from. That's who they, that's, this is the vehicle that the Federal Bureau put me in. So you're going to have to contact them. Okay. Um, you're welcome to get my information and get their information. That's fine, but that's what's going on. Thank you. you traveling down here? I'm headed north. Okay. Are you just here on vacation? No, I'm here for work, I said. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry. Okay. What do you do for the federal? I don't think that's any of your business. Okay. Okay, thank you. Alright, All right, I'll be right back. Thank you. Yeah, because this lady is uh, being a pain in the ass, and she went with her yesterday. So. Alright. For what? I don't know. This uh, She didn't want to give me any information. Like, she said that the car is in... Uh, this green, this gold April? Yeah. Of course, she's from fucking Oregon. She said that and she's she here. Did you information at all? She gave me her driver's license, but she said the reg the car is registered with the Fe Federal Bureau of Investigations. You got to call them for everything else. Okay, and, and does it show that? If it doesn't, I'll give her all those citations. Yeah. I'm going to display your vehicle registration for the private roof insurance and all that stuff. Yeah. That's fine. She, she, she's still required by Florida law. And then she said she's here on business for um, for them. And I said, uh, what kind of business? She goes, none of your damn business. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's cool. I'll give a... If, I'll, if it was me on that traffic stop, I'll give her a failure to play, uh, failure to play uh, registration upon request and uh, failure to uh, you know do that. And what's the reason for the traffic stop? Uh, move over. Me and George are on a traffic all those stop. Tickets. I, said, I said, here you go, man. Uh, have, have your citations. Have a good day. Yeah. yeah the good. tag should come back if you're on the tag out of Nevada. It should come back if it's registered to the federal government or not. Yeah. I'm waiting for the return. I'm in this shitty All spot right. over here by the 89 that gets barely any service. That's so, nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like I said, if it was me, man, I'll give her all those tickets out and have a good day. Did she show you her badge? Nope. She didn't uh, show me shit. Well, well, she's claiming to be a federal agent. Is Go she, ahead. Is she... Is she the tag's not returning. Bro, lying about being a federal agent is so wild. Like, just take the ticket. Go with the VIN. Huh? Uh, call the second unit over there, Valzi. Run the VIN and, yeah, tell her if, if, if you're claiming to be a federal Stand agent, back. that you need to see credentials. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Alrighty, I will. I'll call Alrighty, Georgia yeah, right now. She's claiming to be a federal government. Tell her, I need to see your credentials. You're claiming to be a federal uh, federal government agent unless she's an imposter. And that's a, uh, that's a third degree felony. Yeah. Run the van and the vehicle ain't registered. I will hit her with a no driver's, uh, no vehicle registered, and I'll throw that shit. Yeah, I'm gonna call Askins over here. Howdy. Alright, brother, thank you. So I asked her for uh, <laughs> registration. She goes, uh, you gotta contact, uh, you gotta call, contact the federal bureau investigation. It's also the fact that, like, the fact that she's even lying about this to begin with. Because, bro, at the end of the day, it's just gonna be a ticket. Like, her lying about being an FBI agent is really wild. Like, you could, there's so many other things you could have did. Uh, this is one of their cars. 
Um, I said, she goes, I'm here for work. She uh, asked her what for. She didn't give me any uh, information. And then you also know it's Cap because I'm pretty sure if you're going to work for the FBI, they're going to give you a black on black vehicle. They're not going to give you a. Bro, they're not going to give you that unless you're working for like. They're not going to give you that. There's no way. Like, what? I need to get the pen, but there's a dog. Hey, how you doing, man? I'm okay. What's the deal with hitting the vehicle? What do you mean, hit the vehicle? Yeah, is there a reason the vehicle kind of keeps hitting the head? Or Where? When you walk by it. What do you mean, ma'am? No one hit the vehicle. When you walk by it, it feels like somebody touched it. What's, what's wrong with that, ma'am? Is that what, what I was feeling? Yeah, you have your license with you? Uh -huh. But is that what I'm feeling? I'm not sure what you mean, man. No one hit your vehicle. Saying no one's on one check. Why did you touch it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, why? I just touched it, man. What seems to be the problem with that? Um, I can feel it, and this is how you get a little bit that I drove by the piston of shape. My sway bar is broke. When you touch it... Okay, so you have, you have so mechanical I'm issues? I'm finishing what I was saying. Okay, so you have mechanical issues with your vehicle. That's what you're trying to tell me. So when you walk by and to touch me. it for no reason, I was inquiring. Okay, so you're trying to tell me that you have uh, mechanical issues with your vehicle. That's the reason no, you're... No, no, no. I was trying to ask you why you were touching okay. the vehicle. Okay, what's going on with this? Stop. It's a move over law. Okay, oh, so uh, you're gonna go ahead and sign it? Yeah, but I'm I waiting. need your registration and insurance, ma'am. Contact the Federal Bureau. 4103, that's who you need to contact? I already informed this officer. Alright, that's fine. 55 Bravo Tango India Echo 55. I know it's muted. I don't think that she understands that if they contact the Federal Bureau. And you lying, you going to jail. E D I E. Give me a dark color view of corridor. So my girl. You, I'm sorry, but you're not gonna have me believe that the FBI gave you this vehicle. Like, come on now, be for real. No, I'm asking you what are you doing because you're being disrespectful right now. I was dealing with this um, deputy right here and you're being nosy for just no reason. This is an invasion of privacy, completely disrespectful. It's a traffic stop, ma'am. For no reason. Uh, it is a reason. I pulled you over and I'll let you know the reason. But this is inappropriate. Inappropriate? We're asking for your documentation. You I would like to know if you're an impersonator. Let, let me explain. Like no, I'm deputy marine with the Morrow County Sheriff's Office. I am deputy marine with the Morrow County Sheriff's Office. That's who I am. And you have any ID on you? Yes, ma'am. And you have a card with your with your badge number and you. your county? We don't have a badge number. We have a card. You need number, to listen to my words very no, carefully. No, let me explain to you, ma'am. When ma I ask if you're an impersonator, it's important that you have identification. Ma'am, I'm not an impersonator. I just told you who I am and who I work for. And I asked if you had a card with your ID. Imagine a person, <laughs> imagine a person here thinking you're an impersonator. Like, she really just going off of what she's becoming. Because, bro, you could have just, it's just so simple. You could have just took the ticket and went about your day. But you want to lie, and a big lie at that. Like, I feel like there's so many things you could have said other than that. Because, honestly, what she did was that they was on another traffic stop, and she didn't get over to the left lane. Because, you know, whenever you see a traffic stop, you, still, you see a traffic stop, you're supposed to get over on the highway or slow down if you can't. So that's an issue where she got stopped for. Just take the ticket. Gonna let me explain. Hey, we're bickering back and forth. It's not going to get in the I asked one question. I'm not bickering. Ma'am, ba you're bickering back and forth with me. If you're going to talk over me, we're not going to get in the with this, okay? We're going to go ahead and get a supervisor here since you So here's quiet. mine. Thank you, sir. Okay. Okay. Thank do you. you Do you need uh to get a supervisor out here? Apparently, you don't want to explain... You don't want to provide no one. I've already spoken no to him. No type of register. I've already spoken So we're going to go ahead and wait for our supervisor. In the meantime, go ahead and provide your uh, registration. And you can contact the Federal Bureau. I'm here for, for what work. reason? For what reason? Because I'm here for work, and that's what our protocol is. Oh, this so is the vehicle they put me in, and if I, you would like to contact them yes. for further information, No, then you I can. need your registration. You I'm need to sure contact drive, the Federal Bureau. Ma'am, ma like, like I said, you're going to keep, keep going back and forth with me? I gave you an answer. That's all I can do. 
Okay, just wait for the charge again. Okay, that's fine. Ensure your passion. Here's how to start a boat quote. Just go to progressive.com slash boat. Then... April. Yes, sir. Quick question. Yes, sir. Are you an FBI agent? If you are, do you have credentials? That's all we're asking. You have to give them my name. Give them your name? Yes, sir. You don't have credentials at all? You have to give them my name. This is a highly just on the down low case and I am not able to disclose with you anything other than to be as honest as I can but I, that's all I can say to you. Okay, I'm just trying to be reasonable. Yeah, and I'm just trying to be as honest. I know. But um, at the end of the day... I can give you um, their direct address and number and then um, some names for for the Federal Bureau. That's the best I can do for you. Okay. And I do have registration from the prior owner for this, okay. but um, it is from 2018 or 2021. You're welcome to see it if you'd like. May I see My thing is, I just don't see the point of making this much of a lie when it's a simple traffic, traffic ticket. Like, this is a simple traffic ticket. Just take the ticket, bro. Like, all this extra line just makes no sense at all. And, like, man, I don't know. It always be the patient cops that be dealing with this, bro. Because you never see the dickhead cops be dealing with, you know, people that be acting actually stupid. You know, it's always the cops that try to be cool and work with you to the point that they, you push them so much, they take you to jail. But, like, lying over something like this is just honestly stupid. It makes no sense at all. Yes, I'm going to get in my purse. That's me. We all do. He is. I am. Our in car's on. Thank you. I, I really appreciate that. This is from. This is where she finds her credentials. Okay, so here is. This is from insurance and then the DMV. Okay. Um, it is Montana and Nevada, and I am from Oregon. Okay. This is just different verification, so you can see the VIN number with it. I um, Karen was a veteran. She's passed away now, okay. and I want to make sure she's remembered. I just I was keeping that together for, okay. because um, her son is a part of this, so it's great. Okay. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right, I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Thank you, ma'am. was 
parked on the side of the road going to sleep. So if you actually run my name and go look and you'll see, you're, you're I'm not probably about a, yesterday. I'm talking about today because they really didn't have their radio information you yesterday. I'm telling you, your vehicle is currently not running. So I'm asking you to provide some type of information as to why that is. I already provided my information and I already informed you of what I can give you. I'm going to inform you something, okay? What can I do if for I you? If I can't verify this information, I'm going to end up towing this vehicle. Well, then, I'm trying to help you out. I showed up to try to clarify some information. Okay, well then, what, well then what, what, can, what else can I do for you right now? You want me to roll the windows up and you can call the company? Well, that's not what I want you to do. I'm trying to give you an opportunity to provide this as a solution. I already gave him my identification and what registration I have. You can call the Federal Bureau in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm not interested in calling the Federal Bureau. Well, that's, that's, what, that's the state issue. Well, that is what you can do if you'd like further information. Otherwise, I can roll the windows up and leave it locked. I'll grab my dog and... Wait for a tow. Just a type of second, I'll No. It's 2018. Uh, we'll tow the vehicle. Uh, we don't care citation. She refuses to get off the car. We'll just hook it. So... We ran the VIN, we ran the registration, we yeah. clarified it with dispatch, right? Yeah, clarified. Okay. Um, that vehicle's been registered to so someone else not her. Someone is not her? Yeah, yeah. that's not her. She's not providing she registration. That's the federal government put her in, okay. She hasn't provided any... Uh, she never showed you her creds, right? No, no creds. We, he asked her. Um, not that it would you matter. Work, are you a federal agent working for the FBI? No, she's not. She, of course she's not. She's living out, out of her car. Correct. We asked her again to provide... To provide um, her registration and insurance, she couldn't do that. Right. She kept saying yes, that. Yeah. Can you give me the keys? No, with no, my dog, is, to go to jail. my dog is in the vehicle, and I do not trust you. No, I'm going to wait for a tow. Listen no, to me. I am not giving you, you my keys. You don't get to keys. dictate what's I'm going on. I am not giving you my keys. Then you're going to go to jail. Well, then get animal control here. I have a dog registered with li and license. You're not running stuff here. You are. Give me your car keys right now. For what reason? I'm towing your car. I will I will get my stuff out of there. I just locked it. Him. You don't have a choice in this matter. Yes, I do. No, you don't. The tow truck is not here. Yes, I do. I'm going to tell you one more time. No. If you are, if you are not no. complying with a lawful order, you are going to go to jail. I do not want to take you to jail because you want to have an attitude. All right? Okay. You don't get to dictate the terms here. Okay. Am I clear on that? Are you going to call Jacksonville? I'm not calling anybody. Okay, then I'm going to unlock the vehicle because you're not going to leave me unfree willingly to get my dog out of the vehicle. If you keep talking, okay. you're going to be unfree to go. I understand you don't like the way I'm speaking, but I'm being very, I don't care very, very, very calm. Me. You don't need to do anything special to me other than comply with you my... You said to get out of the vehicle and sign a citation, and then I could go you back to the vehicle. have a criminal citation ready? No. Go. We're going to go ahead and tow that vehicle, make sure you make a range. Back to the vehicle. So now the dog has to stay in the vehicle? No, the dog can go with you or the animal control. So I can go back to my vehicle and get my dog and his jacket? The minute you relinquish those keys so I can tow that car, you can go back and get anything you want out of that car. <laughs> I'm not going to go back to that you car. You said I can cite, sign a citation. I'm not going to continue arguing with you. Say it one more time. And neither am I. I'm going to wait to sign the citation. I'm going to this car. I have done nothing for you to act this way. Ma'am. This is harassment right now. Okay. Give me your car. This keys. is harassment. I'll tell you again. Hello, my name is April Marie Goheen, and this is harassment from your um, South Florida Deputy Department. This is, you are Sergeant, what was your last name? Sergeant Askins. Sergeant Askins, okay. As I said when I first talked to you. Okay, I thank you. I need you to give me your car keys, now. I have never had this happen before. I'm not giving you my code I'm sorry. Right on. I'm really sorry. Anyway, operating an unregistered motor vehicle on the highway to Florida. I had you several times. You're going to get a court date. You still don't want to listen. You don't want to comply. Do you feel better, right? I don't feel better about anything. Do you feel better? It's just a simple fact that all she had to do was just give the car keys, bro, and she could let her go to home. Like, I don't understand. I mean, I guess because she was living in her car, maybe, but... Come on, bro. You got to be... I don't know. That, that shit is... I feel like she was a little bit more nice. I don't think they would have told her, to be honest. This one right here as well.
Hey man, mental health is a real serious thing. I'm just saying. That's one thing about it, bro. Like, if you going to ride dirty, and when I mean riding dirty, like, don't have insurance or license or anything like that, you really can't be a dick to them, <laughs> you know? You can't really talk back or anything because they will do the absolute most to you, and this is what they doing. Like, bro, when you're in the wrong, they everything kind of falls out the window, you know? Like, not like everything. Like, they can't just beat you up, but if you breaking the law, unfortunately, you there's nothing you could do about it, but just, like, just be cool, you know? Like, if it's a valid reason, obviously. I don't know if the dog's friendly or not. I'm pretty sure there's weed in there. Yeah, it's, it's friendly. She knows if she knows. Did you run her anywhere else? No. To see if she has any history? No. I'm going to run her through. You got her deal? Yeah. Uh, he was doing that through uh, David now. I'm going to do that through Lynch real quick. Hey, okay. go ahead and start. Get a hold of him control real quick before you leave. Okay. And then uh, I'll figure this part out. You stay to do the tow. Yeah. And the inventory. Mm-hmm. And let me check the seat for After running the driver's name through a national database, officers discover that she is a convicted felon in the state of Oregon. You have a catch pole? Yeah, the catch pole. I still have to have an open window. Or, I mean, if you run and hold the door, but. Yeah, I'll hold the door. That means. The whistle is making it worse, all right? No, the whistle is helping him calm down on his mom, and then he knows everything is fine. Okay. I'm not an idiot. I wouldn't do that to put anybody in okay, a look. situation. I didn't try to talk to you. Thank you. You can contact the Jacksonville Federal Bureau, oh, and yeah. we can resolve this very soon. And that's the end of that video. Like, honestly, my pain on that man, like... Shit, you riding the dirty, bro. Ain't nothing you could do. Just take the ticket and go on. Like, that's honestly what this lady should have did. But she chose to take the stupid route and continue to lie and be, you know, be a hole to these cops and everything when she was in the wrong. Man, not give her keys away either. So, but I don't know. That's my really my take on it. Let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section. Make sure to like, subscribe, and y'all have a wonderful day.